deep fried fish with Thai Penang curry sauce. Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Som Tit. Today I'm going to cook deep fried fish with Thai Penang curry sauce. There are three portions of the ingredients that I'll be using. So uh, first I'm going to be using fish and these are the ingredients I'm going to be using for the curry and these are the ingredients that I'm going to be um, using to make the curry paste. For the curry paste, I will get I will list out all the ingredients um, list down below this video so you can check it out. So I'm going to start off with making the curry paste first. Okay. To make um, the curry paste today, I'll be using mortar and pestle to uh, pound the ingredients such as the peppercorn. These ingredients are best to pound them first before we put it in the blender. So I'm going to go ahead and pound this one first. So just like that. And then we will, I will slowly put in the ingredients that is harder to pound first. So um, this one is the kaffir lamb skin. We need to pound all this first. Next is the galanga. And uh, lemon grass. And cilantro roots as well as the garlic. like that but not too fine I'm going to put all of them in the blender I am going to put in the onions the shallots that we have cut and the shim paste put in all the powder salt and these are the ingredients that we just found just now the reason why I need to pound all this because when we have the Kaffir lamb skin and the pepper, corn and all that way. It's best to pound and then they will give out a very nice aroma. So, yeah, so it has a very nice aroma. So I'm going to put it in. Just blend together. Make it fine. The dry chili and the fresh chili. So we're going to put in a little bit of water. Just to help in blending. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it. These are the Penang curry paste that I have blended. Look at that. That's a lot of curry paste. I will not be using all of this to cook the fish. Uh, maybe I can keep some for some other times. And now uh, we're going to deep fry the fish. So I have um, salt and flour here. So I'm going to marinate the fish with salt. Then um, I'm going to sprinkle with flour. You can use any flour. This one I use tapioca flour. I'm heating the oil in the pan for about eight minutes. So the oil is boiling hot right now. So we are going to put in the fish. Eight minutes on each side. Okay, it's eight minutes past. If the fish can move like that, meaning that it's already cooked underneath and it's crispy, and don't flip it. Almost done. While waiting for the fish to cook, I'm going to prepare another ingredient. Put in about um, quarter cup of water, and I'm using one third of a cup of the coconut milk. Putting in the rice flour, and we're going to mix them. Okay, just like that. Turn on the low heat. And just keep stirring until the mixture becomes thickened. And it's like that. 
then I just switch off the heat and then we are going to leave it aside. So we are going to take out the fish. Just put it here. Let some the paper towel to absorb the oil. To heat up the pan, put in all the balance of the coconut from the box, a pinch of salt, two kaffir lime leaves. I just break it like that. We're going to cook the coconut until it boils and you know got a lot of bubble. When the coconut cooked just like that, it means that it released the strength. Or in Thai, we call it tag man. And I'm going to put in the Penang curry paste. I'm just going to use it just three spoon. And we're going to fry it until it becomes fragrant. Oh, can you smell that? Smells so delicious. I'm going to keep stirring until about uh, two to three minutes. We're going to add in the sugar and fish sauce. Since it's getting dry, I'm going to add in a little bit of water. Just a little. Don't put too much water because we don't want it to be too watery. This is the roasted groundnut that I have uh, blended. And kaffir lime leaves I cut into a very thin slices. And some red chili. Mmm, you can smell the aromatic of the groundnut in the curry. So good. So the gravy is a bit dry. I need to add in water. We just want to have enough gravy to pour on the fish. Or else it's going to be very thick. Gonna give it a taste. Mm. It's enough taste, enough salt, and enough sweet. The curry is very delicious. So um, that is done. So I'm going to switch off the heat, and then we can go and pour it over the fish. And for the coconut. We're just going to then we're gonna sprinkle some chilies and the uh, kaffir lime leaves. Alright, deep fried fish with Thai Penang curry sauce. Let's try. Mmm, so delicious. The Panang curry sauce is very flavorful. You can get the aroma from all the ingredients that we put in. It goes very well with the fish, the deep fried fish. And it's delicious. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more of my cooking videos like this. Thank you and bye-bye.